This cabbage recipe is simple, delicious, and healthy. Let's make it. We'll start first with two large carrots. I go ahead and peel them just to prepare them and then get ready to grate them. It's funny because I never used to love cabbage. I'd eat it, you know, with my Caribbean food, but I never really loved it. That is until I started making it on my own. So once I have all the nicely grated carrots, I go ahead and put it into a separate bowl because I do wanna keep it nice and moist. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it and then set it aside for later. So to prepare the other vegetables, I went ahead and sliced one red bell pepper as well as about a quarter of a large yellow onion and then I covered both and then set them aside for later. I then grabbed a large head of cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this and use about half of it for this recipe. So I first add some vegetable oil to a large pot. I'm actually using one of my favorite woks and then I go ahead and add the onions first. I allow them to cook and caramelize really just for about one to two minutes. It's important to let the onions start to cook first because the red peppers are gonna release some water. So after some time, I do add the red bell peppers and then go ahead and mix those around. And again, I also cook them really just briefly for another one to two minutes. I don't want any of the vegetables to become soggy, so that's why I'm really just cooking them just briefly. So next, I go ahead and add the carrots that I grated followed by the cabbage that I had sliced. Now this sliced cabbage is basically about eight cups of sliced cabbage. For me, that was about half of the head of cabbage. I measured it so that you can have an idea about how much I used. So about half of the head of cabbage for me was about eight cups of sliced cabbage. You can slice it really any which way you prefer. So go ahead and stir it all around and then you're gonna cover it and allow it to cook on medium low heat for five to seven minutes. It's the steam that's gonna do all of the cooking. So when you check on it, you're gonna see that the cabbage is really much softer and it's really started to cook nicely. You go ahead and stir it around and then go ahead and add some salt. Stir it together very well just to make sure that you mix all of the salt in and then you're gonna add some white granulated sugar. And then you mix the sugar in as well. I don't use very much sugar. I prefer to, for it to just have a touch of sweetness. And then you go ahead and add some white vinegar. This is really important to help balance the flavors and gives it that characteristic Caribbean cabbage taste. So then just spend a couple minutes taking the time to mix everything in together well, and then you're done. It's literally that simple to make such an amazing vegetable side dish. This will become your new favorite cabbage recipe.